Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to ShortSellPowerHour.com. My name is Fred Weaver. The shaky camera is uh, being contributed to you today by my partner Kevin Kaufman. We're Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale team, and I'm excited. We have a special guest with us today. Thank you, Kendra. This is Kendra Todd, currently uh, in the Seattle, Washington area, correct? That's right. Yes, Kendra is uh, very special. Some of you may actually recognize Kendra. She's got a very national presence out there. Kevin doing a little little close up there. <laughs> so I understand it. How many years ago you won The Apprentice? Donald Trump show The Apprentice. How many years ago yeah, was that now? I did. Uh, that was in 2005. So it was the third season 2005. Of, of The Apprentice. And that kind of yeah. catapulted you into an opportunity with HGTV as well, right? Yeah, so I've had a show on Home and Garden Television for three years called My House is Worth What? I say it's safe to say now that the answer is less. It's not very much? Okay. <laughs> so my, my show used to be on every day and now I can barely find it. Wow. Okay. Well, so, okay. so the viewers out there will have to wait till the market rebounds to see that see that show come back. Yeah, around I think so. You. That'll be my house is worth what round two. Okay, I like it. Yeah. Round two. Yes. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> well, hey, I know you've been doing a lot of um, you know publicity out there nationally, locally as well, talking to homeowners around yeah. foreclosure and their options. So I know that over the last few years, a lot of your agendas changed and what you're doing in real estate. And I mean, tell me what it is you're really passionate about. We were talking last night and I just, yeah. I'd love it if you'd share it with our viewers out there. Well, one of the things that I've, I've found um, to be a challenge for agents, especially in this type of market, is the perception that uh, you know, the public has um, you know, concerning the real estate agent is not very favorable right now. Yeah. And we're considered the bad guys. A little you know? mad at us for some of their... Exactly. Okay. We either sold somebody a house that now they, you know, can't afford to make the payments on, so they're mad at us, or uh, they're just mad in general at the real estate market. And I mean, there, I mean there's a lot of emotions flying around out there. And yeah. I've found myself in a, a unique position with, you know, HGTV and The Apprentice to sort of be a realtor who's a friend of the consumer. And I think something uh, that needs to be done more by real estate agents out there who really care is to advocate and educate consumers and empower them and, and really give them a sense of hope by letting them know that there are alternatives options. to foreclosure. Yes. They do have options and that your number one priority in your agenda is helping them. Absolutely. I think that's been one of the things that, yeah. you know, as you've gotten to know Kevin and I, we're really big about is that, um, you know, the banks may not be out there offering what I would call overwhelmingly yeah. extraordinary customer service to homeowners, but the real estate agent can become just a friend for life in this time. Certainly yes. there's some a little bit of bitterness from the homeowner and, and what's happened in real estate values, but when you can come from a place of help and yes. contribution and when you've um, you know, as I've shared with you before, I've been in a place where I couldn't afford my own home. Yeah. You really can understand what those people are going through, and it, it really fires you up to want to help them out and get, get a job done for them. But it's that's got to be your motivation. You Absolutely. can't fake it. You can't because it's going to be very transparent to homeowners. So if you genuinely want to help them, um, then your entire business and branding, especially if you're doing short sales or, or anything with distressed properties, has got to be built around that care for the consumer. And, and they will recognize it and, and they will de you'll establish a level of trust a lot quicker. And as you guys know, it's a lot easier to get things done, get information that you need, and, and really go to work for them when they trust you. Quicker. Absolutely. Well, hey, I'm going to turn uh, turn the page real quick on you and change subjects. Oh, but boy. it's not every day that we have somebody on shortsellpowerhour.com who had an opportunity to hang around Mr. Donald Trump. <laughs> and so um, I would love to hear just, you know, one or two things you learned from that experience. And you get asked that question a lot, I'm sure, but what is it that stood out in that experience? What did you learn from that? Well, first of all, I'm just gonna put this out there. His hair is real, it's really hairsprayed, it's a really <laughs> bad comb over, and it's really unfortunate. Um, it must be hereditary because he's got a two-year-old son that's got the same swirl on going. I'm like, oh, this poor kid. At least, wow. at least he's got a lot of money. You know? Wow. Um, what did I learn from Donald Trump? Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I will tell you that I, that one of the things uh, that will really stick for uh, with me is um, the way he brands and packages himself hmm. as his business. Uh, he's the only developer that um, I know of that actually was able to license his name to other developers that automatically added wow. intrinsic value to the building without doing any other, you know, uh, 
enhancements. The other thing is he sets the bar and he achieves it. For example, the project that I worked on for him was a home that he bought for $43.5 million um, in foreclosure. Um, I'm not at liberty to say how much or little he actually put into the house okay. to improve it, but it ended up selling for $81 million and was the highest uh, residential transaction in history at that time before it was trumped a week later by sale in Aspen. But uh, the, the point is that everyone said it couldn't be done and he said bull. And he set the mark high wow. and he achieved it. So That is awesome. Yeah. I think we can all go apply some of those principles right there so. into our business. So <laughs> hey, thank you so much for joining us, Kendra. Yeah. I appreciate it. And I know you've watched a couple episodes and I don't know if you've made it to the very end where we do our little thing here. So if not, you're gonna be caught by surprise and if you if you can follow She's along. She's a smart girl, she'll catch on quickly. I think I can she'll do, catch I can on. So, gum at the same time. So here we go on three. Kevin, you know, doesn't have the ability to clap with us, so it's you and I. So okay, here we go on right. three. One, two, three. Short, Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour.